please listen to this at 1.5 to 2x speed. <coughs> Business line for 10th August. Uh, Tata Sons investment value dips by almost 13% in FY23. The main reason is US slowdown impact and these are the companies Tata Steel, Consumer, TCS, Teleservice, Tata Alexi, Tata Power. These, are, these were basically the reason why it fell down. However, um, on a consolidated revenue levels, uh, they did have almost 34% increase in revenue and PAT as well, but market cap is decreasing. That's the most important news. Uh, one can go through this article for this. The next is, um, as we know, uh, I mean, in Russia and I mean, India was importing a lot of oil from Russia, but the main problem was how do we pay them, pay Russia? Uh, we because we can't pay with dollar we had to use rupee for that and uh, the problem is with Russia we have a max massive trade deficit I mean it I, it's not mentioned over here but uh, almost 31.2 dollar uh, 31 billion dollars of uh, imports that we did from Russia whereas we exported almost only 2.2 billion dollars so this trade deficit with respect to Indian rupee was not very useful so uh, right now, the idea is we sort of trade in Singapore or in Hong Kong and pay in local currency yuan and get the trade settled and get all the oil. Yeah. Uh, next is uh, recently there was a lot of discussion on importing license regime for laptops. Now the government uh, wants or, or uh, various companies have reached out to the government like Apple, Asus, Dell and asked for uh, for deferring these timeline to almost 12 months etc and what the government is asking is for these IT firms to give local production plan uh, to kind of yeah so that it's it's everything is in track I mean they want all this planning timeline when these could be done etc uh, it's, it's an interesting step one can read through this one as well EID Parry again didn't do very good uh, numbers are over here uh, Mutual fund equity inflow is falling by 13% as investors book profit, but there could be other reasons as well other than profit booking, uh, DIY invest, investing. Uh, then there is also a good rally in micro and small and medium caps where many mutual funds are not focused on and a lot of money going into PMS and alternate uh, funds. Yeah. The next is uh, Tata Group's airline posts almost 15,000 crore uh, loss in FY22, although their revenues are up, but uh, they had taken some write-offs. There's always cost pressure due to weakening rupee, turbine, uh, but there is also a surge in demand. And uh, India had handled almost 73% of, I mean, extra passengers in FY23. The closure of the Russian airspace also aided uh, in Air India to uh, increase fare, and it's also revenue rose. However, uh, losses uh, increased to 11,000 crore uh, because of an impairment and uh, Vistara's loss fell by 31% to 1,300 crore. So let's see how it turns up. Uh, the next article is on MP Karnataka UP tops in GST mop up in first four months of FI24. Basically, the biggest, uh, because GST is a consumption driven phenomena, the po most populous state is going to have more GST or the most wealthy states are going to have the most GST. So uh, we can see that Madhya Pradesh having the highest change in GST, which sort of says that the rural spending is back because Madhya Pradesh is almost 35% of area is under agro agricultural uh, activities or 35% of population is under agricultural activities. You can see over here. Uh, it's, it's a good sign, but uh, we can also see what are the I mean, what are the various things? I mean, it compares with national numbers. It also talks about record collection, uh, Karnataka, Maharashtra, then Karnataka, then Gujarat. And uh, uh, interestingly, Kerala's GST collection grew by 15%, but uh, in terms of value, it was only 10,000 crore, uh, which is lower than Jharkhand and Chhattisgarh. So that's interesting. Also, it talks about compliance, how compliance is able to kind of generate a uh, higher GST return and, and weed out fake all of those things. Next is Tata 1MG again revenue is up at 160, 1,600 crore but then the problem is uh, their losses have also uh, doubled to 12,000 crore 
and uh, they are they are giving rev nearly 80 percent of the revenue came from sale of medicine and 20 percent from diagnostic tests and other and uh, yeah i mean i mean one thing that i don't like is tata investing in these kind of businesses i don't know low capital re low return on capital uh, interesting tata power q1 net is up 22 percent so revenue is only up 14.9 percent but the uh, EBITDA is up by 43%, which is a very good sign. And there, there's also a lot of CAPEX coming in and the company's order book also looks very nice. Uh, over here, they talk more about the order book. Total expenses uh, is mentioned over here. And this is the order book that almost 17,000 crore worth of order book pending with them. Um, Next article, Stilaknagar Industries, revenue up by 33%. They are into the business of alcohol, for example. Uh, revenue at 304 crore and all of that. Sudarshan Pharma is going to buy Ratna Life Sciences. They are into oncology product. And the existing capacity will expand uh, of 2 ton will expand to 15 tons. Similarly, VST Tiller have uh, launched compact tractors. Um, these four wheel drive compact tractors are pretty awesome and uh, yeah they are in the range of 18 to 36 horsepower the next article is on Adani exiting the Wilmar venture and basically I think it's because Adani is going to focus on infra related businesses so that's probably why also the stock hasn't been doing pretty good uh, EID Perry which we discussed uh, uh, mainly because of export drop and also uh, loss of realization. I mean, the, the demand is not that great, and that's one of the reasons they are uh, experiencing losses. Uh, the distillery segment has performed better uh, owing to higher realization, and uh, most is talked about it. And LNT is planning to buy NPCIL, which is Nuclear Power Corporation of India. Uh, I mean, there's a there's a lot of discussion in it, and. Uh, and uh, probably uh, LNT is probably going to shift to uh, also or, or in, go into also uh, the nuclear businesses and much more can be read through here. Uh, also similar, uh, Mr. Anil Manik Bhai Naik, uh, the current chairman of LNT, started as a, I think, graduate trainee and rose to chairman. Uh, great, phenomenal uh, journey. So he talks about uh, his last, uh, I mean, I mean, many shareholders talk about how LNT has evolved over time with him. Yeah. Next company, Natco Pharma, Q1 net profit up by 30% at 420 crore. Interesting business. Uh, one can look into it. Lots of triggers are playing in. Uh, next is QR coding good for patients. Uh, JV Pharma CEO is saying about that. And basically, the government has mandated that uh, in local market, QR code should be present on the uh, you know the farm uh, the pharmaceutical the tablets and all of that so yeah uh, if you can read through that and there's another article on again same I mean, the the story but one can go through the from the newspaper uh, technophile is mostly on uh, items we can skip this easily uh, this is the same article importing from Russia could via Hong Kong could be a viable option uh, and also India broadens access to Vostro accounts. So one can go through it. Uh, this cabinet on GST, this is a recurring topic. I mean, 28%, I mean, we can skip this one. Uh, one can read through this one if not has much background, but yeah. Uh, then there is two political sort of a question. Uh, some digital competency law committee has been set up and standing committee on statistics, which will advise Ministry of Statistics program and implementation. These two interesting articles. Then there's an interesting article from GK Tire. One can read through this as well. Uh, more like an advertisement. Yeah. We'll skip this and we'll add it in, a, in another section over here. Uh, the next is mutual fund equity inflow falls further as investors book profit. We discussed this. Uh, market bounced back. So yesterday uh, market was falling and then it bounced back at the end because of Reliance and ITC. Uh, I think the pessimism, there's a bit of pessimism from large cap, FII, uh, also RBI and US inflation numbers are something we have to look at. 
So it's a, it's a good, interesting article which can be read. Um, then SEBI cuts listing days to three post IPO. So after IPO, three days after that, listing will take place. So that's kind of nice. Um, then TVS coming out with a supply chain, uh, TVS supply chain solution. IPO is opening today. I feel it's a bit expensive, but uh, one one needs to see. Um, BSC is net profit up on one-time income from stake sale in ARM. So basically, they have sold some stake in CDSL due to which their incomes rose multifold, almost 440 crore, as against 40 crore last year. So MK Investment Manager says that VFC Manufacturing Index is poised for double-digit returns. Let's see. <laughs> some businesses which uh, brokers are saying RBA, they are asking to sell. So Torrent Pharma, they are asking to buy. Not asking. They are recommending to sell and buy. And Voltas as well. Could be looked at. Um, next, uh, CAG talks about lapses in Ayushman Bharat scheme. So basically, same Aadhaar is linked to, same phone number is linked to multiple Aadhaars or same Aadhaar has multiple uh, such uh, Aushman Bharat cards and, and these sorts of things. Uh, so numbers such as this, all, all uh, bogus numbers. CCI clears proposal acquisition for HDFC Credilia and Credgenix raises almost 50 million in Series B funding. And <coughs> Happiest Mind wants to acquire some businesses in the digital space. So we'll see some acquisition happening, but they're trying to find some companies in low code or no code area or artificial intelligence. Access Bank to pick up 6% more in max life insurance for 1,612 crore. Yeah. Um, there was an interesting article from Zoom where they said that they will not train AI models uh, without user content. Um, also, EV startup Avera announces almost 100 crore expansion and eyes Australia. Uh, yeah, so the company has already sold 4,000 vehicle in the domestic market and exported 2,000 vehicle to Spain and Bulgaria. An interesting company. So lots of results coming at SI Capital. Natural capsules fell quite heavily. Um, but yeah, I mean, they are expect some capacity is expected to come online. Let's see how it works out on a consolidated basis. One second. Cadence, same, uh, did good, let's see. Um, next day on commodities, so wheat almost sold out in this latest FCI auction. So uh, after rice was banned for export, surprisingly rice actually grew up. The government was expecting because of rice ban, uh, the prices will stabilize or fall, but surprisingly even then rice was going up. So also wheat was also kind of growing up so uh, wheat prices so government has actually worried about rising prices and government wants to sell almost 50 lakh tons of wheat in the open market yeah over here then vietnam coffee export is down 22 percent crude oil supply uh, rises on tighter supply so lots of it's it's due to tightness crude oil rises then copper rebounds on china's stimulus bet so possibly because of deflation in china there could be some rise uh, due to rise uh, or, or rise ban from india there's been an increase of 50 U usd per ton and uh, because of india not or because of india not exporting i think some geographies are going to get a lot of benefit so for example thailand and uh, daily price changes are over here and over here it talks about government's reason why they did it uh, uh, so in india export in the last 17 million tons of non basmati rice and it has dropped to, uh, to a seven year low of 25 uh, the agency has an additional 23.3 million uh, metric ton of unmilled paddy uh, rice shouldn't be exported too much because it also consumes a lot of water right and uh, yeah and water is scarce so this is not a very bad uh, thing so here the center i mean the parliament talks about rice i mean Again, rice, pace of shipment, rice, rising pace of shipment led to white rice export ban. So almost 34.54% increase in the first three months. And uh, due to that, it was done. Soya uh, beans acreage uh, is lower than government's estimate. So who knows, we'll see some soya bean, uh, again, short supply. 
uh, these are the regions where, where there's expectation of rain, but they have received less rainfall uh, than normal. But uh, the, these guys, these places, there's water body and, and mostly there's irrigation as well. So no, not too much challenge. Uh, in fact, normal rainfall, a bit heavy rainfall leads to flood. So that's kind of good in a way. Uh, next, uh, the other places have received good amount of rainfall. So, yeah. Then dry spell over central and west and south India to last another week. And after that, probably there would be some rain. So this time it's rain for east and northeast. That's the expectation. Uh, people are saying to stay out of natural gas contract. I don't know. Uh, then government also defers quality, cotton quality control by three months. Uh, we discussed this last time. Then there's some political news. Uh, coal imports by power sector fall 13%, which is good. <laughs> Ministry of Railway approves closure of BPRL. And then... Yeah, so another thing, steel minister ups the ante on import, reaches out to auto OEMs, pipe makers on local sourcing. Who knows government will come up with a policy? Let's see. There would be stricter rules, rules of origin, uh, etc. for this one. Uh, IRCTC's net profit dips by 5%, although revenue has increased quite a bit. Uh, then NPC, NPC is National Power Committee seek suggestion on offering SOPs for buying, selling on push P portal. Now push P portal is a portal where, which allows uh, buyers to, uh, buyers to kind of buy power. Uh, it's a portal in a national level generating capacity utilization mechanism to help states which are facing power cuts buy power. The tariffs are regulated and determined by the regulatory committee. Uh, it has seen weak participation. What can read through this? And this is also very important for power. Uh, then China falls into deflation as demand revival falls. So let's see how this works out. Uh, Pakistan parliament is set for dissolution. The, their country should go for dissolution. Who cares? Uh, then, oh, sorry. Uh, the X factor, Indian, Indian content creator raking in the mullah. So interestingly, Twitter, surprisingly, Twitter, uh, if you have almost 15 million organic impression, and 500 followers, you, you get some ad revenue. So this is also a positive sign because uh, Facebook and YouTube had it. Also, social media influencer with 5 lakh fan base are celebrities. So they have to be now monitored or they have to adhere to the Ad Advertising Standards Council of India, which is sort of good. Uh, so mo more of it was over here. Uh, surprisingly, to become a celebrity, if you get like 40 lakhs for or equivalent for an annual appearing in an advertisement, you are a celebrity and you need to behave different. Or you need to ensure that whatever you are selling or whatever you are advertising is good. Some startups rising, raising almost $2,500,000 or $250,000. Sri Lanka is back into business. Some disease X. And that's about it on. Zuadi Agro again fell. So not that great. Let's see.